Today, we're gonna to walk through a simpler and more effective way to use text in a box. So when you get started in anything that you do, it's good just to get started. And then as you progress, you learn how to optimize and improve on things that you already did. So in this episode, I want to show you how to improve on the scale width tutorial that I did to fit text within a box so that when the text got to a certain point uh, width wise, that it would start to scale the text down and stick within that box that was made. And the way I initially did this was by creating a shape layer and tying the scale properties to the size of that shape layer. And it worked, but there's definitely a better way to do it. So I wanna show you how I've been doing this lately because the code is simplified and much easier to understand. And it's more modular because I'm using a slider to dictate the width that I want the text to constrain within. And there's a couple other things that we can do by using a slider as well that I will show you at the end. So I'm gonna just go ahead and duplicate this home team nickname and move it to the top and we can solo it and play around with this. So let's solo it. I'm gonna EE -E to ex reveal all of my expressions and I'll click on the stopwatches just to turn everything off. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go up here into my effects controls, right click and choose expression controls, slider control. And this is what's gonna, going to run our width. So we do max width, right? And this comp is 1080 by 1080. So let's just make this say 700 just for now. Lines are super short and actually I'm gonna change that because I prefer the bears in the NFC North. All right, we have our, our width here. Let's alt click on the scale and initiate an expression. So first we're gonna type, I'm gonna get rid of my caps lock, var max W for max width. And we're just going to pick whip up to this slider that I have set here. All right. And now we need to define the width. So let's use W. And I'm going to say this layer, source rect at time. We're still using source rect at time. And we want to define the width. So this is saying, what's the width of the text? Bar X equals. And I'm gonna put parentheses here and do max width divided by width. So it's taking the max width that we've defined here and that we can adjust in dividing the width of the text. And then we need to multiply that by 100. And for Y, we wanna just return the value of Y. So value one, so these go in zero, start at zero, so x is zero, y is one, so we're basically just saying value entered here or 100. We could hard code that to 100 if we wanted to. Fat fingered that. All right, and then we need to create another variable. I'm gonna call this one s for scale. And we're using math.min like we did last time with x and y. One other thing I want to point out here too is if, let's see, if I had, the order matters, if I had W down here, it's going to give me an error because I'm using max W and W in this expression right here in this second line. So in order to use a variable, it has to be defined above the variable that it's being used in. So once I undo, oop, oh no. Let me just take this and put it back. So once I put it up here, all right. So it's still yelling at me, and that's only because we haven't put our final variables down here at the end. So I'm saying scale, I, I want the smallest number between the output of X and the output of Y, or otherwise, is X smaller than 100 or not? And if it is, use the X number. If not, use Y. And that's, that's this 
equation here. And then to re make sure I return the same number here for scale, it's SS. So when I click off, nothing really happens. But if I start dragging the slider, you're going to see my text start to move. So what happens if we have a longer name like dolphins? All right, so it's clamping here, but let's say ah, we, we decide we want to change that um, and expand it out. So we can just drag the slider. And this is one of the reasons why I have really liked this method because it's much easier to change than jumping into the code to play with it and keep changing these numbers in order to get it to be exactly how you want it to be. So that's the nuts and bolts of it, but I want to talk about one more thing because in sports, we often deal with all sorts of different size boards and different elements. So let me alt click on this max width slider and it's going to populate down here in my timeline. And let's say we want to set this to this comp dot width times 0.9. Let's say we want to set this to 90% of the comp width, which is what that's what I'm saying here. So this is changing this to 972. And if I were to add more text here, it'll clamp at 90%. If I undo, the, the benefit of using it this way is if I were to create a new comp and make it 1920 by 1080, sure. If I copy this text and I paste it in here, and let's go forward a little bit because I have a text vector on here, and I line it to the middle. Dun, 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 dun. It works in here too. So by setting this to say, look at the comp width and take 90% of that and clamp me at 90%, we can copy this text and paste it into whatever size comp we want. Let's go crazy. Let's do another comp. 1080 by 1920. Align it in the center. Board. Great. So that's 90% there too. If I hit EE, say I want this at 0.6. Cool. So that's a way that you can make a text field, and then when you put it into a different comp, it's going to take those properties with it by adding that expression. You may not want to do that, but you can also link this up to a controller slider if you have multiple, um, if you have multiple versions here, multiple sliders, and like I have a home and away team here. If I link those both up to a controller and have a master slider, then I just adjust it in one place, and I don't have to go to two different two different layers uh, to make that happen. So let's go in and apply this to the project that we had originally created. So I'm going to turn off the solo, turn off that shape layer because we don't need that anymore. All right, if I hit S here, I'm just going to get rid of that. And let's paste our max width. And then I can right click on this and copy expression only. Wait, team nickname and paste. There we go. I hit E. I'm going to copy this max width. Let's go down to home team nickname, paste that, and hit S, copy expression only, and paste. Yes. I'm going to turn this off. And on controller, let's go ahead and set up a slider max width master. I'm just going to set this to 900. I'm going to go ahead and hit E. And I want to pick width. The E here in the timeline. Twirl it down. I'm going to go ahead and just pick with both of them up to this master slider. There we go. So now we have the 
fortunes to be able to adjust everything all at once. Hopefully that makes this a little bit easier. I feel like the the expression text is much easier and simpler to understand and read. And I've enjoyed using this, especially as a slider, because it just gives so much more flexibility as we're creating. 